Some people have said that one of the things holding back ExpressLRS is its inability to output PWM servo signals directly from the receiver, enabling integrations like the amazing one you just saw. Uh, I'm Captain Brian, and you can tell I'm an ExpressLRS developer because we all have these equally amazing beards. I've just published code for ExpressLRS 2.0 that includes a feature of outputting PWM. Uh, we've been waiting for a hardware manufacturer to step up and say, hey, tell us how you want to make this. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I figured, let's just push the code out there and get it out there. And then the hardware manufacturer will just show up with it someday, like they like to do. So let's take a look at the reference hardware that I've created for this, which I'm calling the PWMP, or PIMP, receiver. It's based on the Happy Model EP2 receiver, which uh, there's a bunch of clones out there for already. So uh, hopefully it will be pretty easy for hardware manufacturers to implement their own version of this uh, that does this without making such a mess of it. All right, first quick demo. We got our standard set up, a uh, old ESC with a BEC, and our receiver down here. A couple servos and a motor. Standard stuff. Blinky, blinky, blinky. Telemetry recovered. And it's on. And we have servos. Servo action. And then motor. So as you can see here, we have the Happy Model EP2. Um, don't click off this video just because there's only three outputs. Uh, the hardware is capable of five outputs. The code that I've checked in is capable of eight outputs. Um, there's only three outputs here because that's all the pads that Happy Model gave us. Uh, all they need to do is just drag two more lines out here and we can have up to five re uh, receiver outputs. And obviously, you're going to have to make some space here for uh, the pin headers where they would come out here and it would have to be one tenth of an inch wider. So two millimeters wider, um, we can get five outputs on this. Uh, if you wanna build one of these yourself, just a real quick uh, guide to what I did here. Um, the ground pad um, from the EP2, oh, the ground pad from the EP2, uh, it's, it's all just ganged to one pin here. And then I took the five volt pad and then ganged it to the, I remember, five to the middle things. Uh, and then I took the TX pad is my first output. Uh, the RX pad is is wired to the second output. Let's see if we can see this from the side here. Right in there. Uh, and then the boot pad is our third output and that's dragged to the third pin there. Uh, there's two other pins on the uh, ESP res uh, processor that we can use uh, that'll give us our five outputs. I mean five isn't great. But five, I think, is a, is a lot. You think about a four-channel airplane, and usually you'll have two for ailerons or two, two motors uh, and one ailerons. So, I mean, six, uh, six channels would probably be ideal, but five is what we got. Um, but, yeah, five. Five is good. Um, and that's and it'd be a tiny little receiver that everybody can use. Let's take a look at how some of the software works. With only five output channels available in the reference hardware I'm proposing, obviously you're going to want to change your output mappings uh, to get just the channels you want from the handset to go through uh, to your servos. Um, but because it's Express LRS, it has a website built in the receiver. So we just hop on the receiver's website. See here I'm connected to my PIMPS website uh, because I'm a motherfucking PWMP. Um, and here there's the PWM output. Uh, the output here is the servo channel and the input is the handset uh, channel. The uh, channel 5 is aux 1 and aux 1 in Express LRS is just one bit so you only get two positions there so obviously you want to change that. So if you're running two ailerons you want to run them off the same channel perhaps. Uh, you can just set them to the same channel. Uh, you can invert one if you have one servo that's backwards uh, compared to the other one and use the same channel. Uh, and we also have full sales, fail safe support so um, when you just connect it goes into fail safe mode. There is no no pulses mode, it is just uh, fail safe mode when it's disconnected. And you just hit update and then it's all set and you're ready to go.